I grew up in the church in the South. So, you know, Southern Baptist churches in the South, they're very choir and music driven. And, uh, you know, uh, some of them do like old hymn style songs. I'm not really into those, but the ones that are like doing the new style of music, I kind of fell in love with. I didn't obviously when you're a kid, you don't know what the love of a wife would feel like at that time. But you do see God work in your life sometimes. Like for me, I did it as a young child. I saw God work in my life. So when I went to go worship him and would listen to the music, it, it was a feeling that I couldn't explain. It was a passion that I saw people sing with that I wanted that I just it, it captivated me and it made me want to understand like like more about that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, growing up in the South, man, it's, it's a lot of soul, man. It's a lot of blues and a lot of just. A lot of passionate music, a lot of passionate musicians, you know, they have a lot to talk about. So uh, when you listen to them, it's real hurt, it's real pain. And when they're really happy, they're really happy. It's really high and really low. So it's a uh, it's a beautiful spectrum to kind of, you know, pull from for music. Yeah, it was beautiful because I'd never heard myself coming back through speakers before. Um, but I was a rapper at the time. So, uh, yeah, I was rapping. So for me, it was. I was a massive fan of Lil Wayne and 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 just Tupac and 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 Boosie and everything being from the South, uh, UGK and stuff. So um, going to that first session and I still remember like it was yesterday. It was in Jackson, Mississippi, where I'm from. And uh, recording and just hear yourself coming back to speakers is always an interesting uh, experience. Even to this day, it still kind of is is weird, you know. But that first session, yeah, you just. You you definitely start to overthink and overjudge yourself, but it's but it's it's a um, it's a beautiful thing, man. I feel like if you really love music and you you enjoy it, I highly encourage people to record themselves or, or go get recorded and just listen to it and get comfortable with hearing yourself, man. It's a uh, it's an interesting uh, thing to do, but it but it it can be beautiful at the same time. But yeah, that first time was crazy. It's all of that, man. Um, bigger studios. Um, people's feedback is probably one of the biggest thing that can confidence boost somebody especially a new artist um when people start just tripping or going crazy over your music it obviously makes you feel incredible but um there gets to be a point to when you start getting actual recognition from people that are that do this for a living or they want to put you in big studios and i've never been in a big studio until a couple years ago and I still to this day don't really like them too much. I prefer to record in a smaller studio and I can do everything I need to do in there. It's um, it's definitely uh, gives you the confidence to want to make bigger records. And then when you constantly music changes, you know, um, more often than not, uh, pretty, pretty swift and pretty fast. And it happens a lot. So I think the hardest thing for a lot of people is when you find your groove or your confidence and then the music changes, you feel like you got to evolve with that. And sometimes that's not always the case. I believe that some people got to fall in love with what they want to make and do that. And because for, for me, after a while, I was chasing the the where the music was at right now. Like, where is pop music at right now? Where is this at right now? What elements can I add to do that? And instead of focusing on that, I would say that, that's going to drive myself crazy trying to figure that out. So let me just listen to stuff that I feel like is timeless music and figure out how to do that. Because once you make timeless music, you never have to worry about the changing, changing of times. It just it just kind of flows with it. Um, not not trying to act like I just make timeless music or anything, but I'm just saying, you know, it's just that's what I listen to for inspiration. So uh, yeah, I mean that 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 kind of music gives you the confidence to go out here and, and try to make these massive songs. <laughs>